Hey guys, I am just coming tonight. Really want to encourage you to really get into recruiting. Recruiting is my favorite part of this business. I love sharing the opportunity with people, and I just want to just share some ideas of how that you can do the same thing. So hopefully this is helpful. Give me just a minute. I'm gonna do some screen sharing with you. So here's some of the things that I just want to share, and I'm going to take you some pictures that will hopefully be really easy for you to, um, you know, just share the opportunity. All of these pictures are available. I can create a file if that helps you, but I just want to share just some some reasons why um, it can be really easy for you to recruit. So give me just a second, and I will pull this up. Okay, so. All right, make sure that you're really familiar with the kit, first of all, and we know that the kit changes, um, you know, every so often. Let me bring this right here, maybe that'll help. All right, so our kit right now is available, and $99 is normal, and if you can share that, get excited with the people that you're around, then this is something you can do. So here's some just some ways that I've thought about, um, you know, how that we can recruit. All right, here's one of them. All right, so here's some of the ways that we recruit. By sharing, celebrating, flipping your hostess. You have to speak to sponsor. Those home office leads, asking open-ended questions, and being patient. So one of the ways that we can do that is by sharing. And sharing, what I mean by that is just like on your Facebook page or when you're out at doing a party, when you're out, maybe you get to talking to a, a waitress at a restaurant or you know sharing with a friend how much you love 31 sharing and not complete always selling you know oh do you want to get a new bag but sharing your excitement on Facebook post posting photos leaving a party saying something like I just had the best time with my hostess tonight I love what I do that is sharing okay people are watching celebrating celebrating all the milestones you meet maybe you say on your Facebook page or on Twitter or social media you know, I had a goal this month of $600 and I just reached it. I'm so excited about what I did. When you earn those incentives or earn those star swells, celebrating yourself, celebrating each other, people are paying attention again. Flipping your hostess. What I mean by that is you have a party and before you close out that party, ask her, say, hey, have you ever thought about joining my team? Giving her the opportunity to take the party that you just did and making it her first party. If you can't afford to give up that whole party, split it with her. Just say, hey, if you sign up tonight, I will split this party. Let's say it's a $400 party. Give her $200 of the sales. Give her all of the parties booked. Those are ways to help your new recruit get a strong start. One, you know, Number four is speaking to sponsor. If you don't ask, people aren't going to be able to do it. There's some people who would jump right up and say, hey, I want to join your team. But there's so many women who really want to know that you see something special in them who really need that permission to ask those questions or need that permission to join your team. Sometimes they don't think that you want them on their team. So make sure you're speaking. Home office leads. This is something that you as a senior consultant or above have the opportunity of earning. So if you are really serious about learning more, that is a different conversation, but that is one of the ways that 31 will help you grow your business through home office leads. Asking open-ended questions. Had a great time talking to a home office lead tonight. And I could have easily said, hey, how are you doing? And hanging up the phone after just that one conversation. But I asked her some questions about her kids, her job, where she's at right now. I just She kind of briefly mentioned going through a divorce. These are different things where I could have just let the conversation die, but I continue to ask questions. And now she's looking seriously at joining my team, and we're going to talk this weekend about her getting started. And then number seven, being patient. One of the things you have to understand about recruiting, it doesn't happen tomorrow. Recruiting is a conversation that you start now. So you're continuing, you're t continuing to share those seeds. Some women are going to join your team right away, and others are going to need some time to get used to the idea. All right. And so just making sure that they know the possibilities, starting their own business, the $99 enrollment kit, how much commission they're going to make, how they can get discounts um, by being their own customers, chances to earn the free products. All of these things are things that you can know about the 31 business. If you just know these basics, you can look to me or your director or your sponsor to help you with the rest.
And then knowing what's in the kit. Um, this enrollment kit comes with a welcome guide, catalogs, mini catalogs, hostess reward flyers, all of the things that they're going to need to get themselves started. And so if someone, you know, if you are new to 31, then you're familiar with what's in the kit because you've just got your box. But if it's been a while since you signed up, you might have kind of forgotten what's in there, but get to know the enrollment kit. This is simple little steps that you can do um, when it comes to learning about becoming a 31 consultant. And, you know, and then the rest of it is just sharing with her all of the things that can come along. You know, did you know that when you are a new consultant with 31 and during that first 120 days, you have the opportunity of earning a $100 bonus on top of your commission when you too bring people onto your team, when you recruit, um, you know, just getting them excited. And, you know, all of these things you can share with them, but basically sticking to those steps, you know, sharing your excitement, sharing the opportunity, speaking to sponsor, having the goal of flipping one of your hostess. If you have a goal of just one hostess every four months or one hostess every six months or whatever your goal is, saying, I'm going to take one of my hostesses over the next couple of months and I'm going to help her turn her party into a business, then you're sure to, to, um, to build your business. And you know, why is recruiting so important? Number one, when you become a, rec um, a recruiter, you have the opportunity at the beginning of um, becoming a senior consultant. And a senior consultant is someone who can earn home office leads from 31. Um, and so I always say dream with me. Just think about what it would be like to earn a small commission off of your team by becoming a senior consultant. And the other thing is when you um, are a senior consultant, you're, you're not only having that opportunity to earn home office leads, but you're having that opportunity to be in a place of leadership without a monthly requirement. And so senior consultant is a nice place to start where you kind of get used to building a team, helping um, team members start their own businesses and, and you know learning your way as well. But another thing is, did you know that right now, as um, as a recruiter, you could come into this new earning period for the leadership incentive trip to Dominican Republic next year. You can come in now as a consultant, and if you qualify and become a director, then 31 looks at your team sales starting all the way back now in October. And if it adds up enough, you have the possibility of earning the trip to the Dominican Republic. So you're probably thinking, oh, well, that trip is just for, for directors. Well, guess what? If you became a director between now and March, then you have an opportunity of earning this as well. And so you might be close and uh, closer than you think. There's so many perks to, um, you know, bringing people onto your team. So, you know, don't think that this is just something, you know, just for me. Ask those questions, you know, look around your room at the parties and talk about this. Do you want some Christmas cash? And talking about, hey, $150 is my average 31 party commission. What could they do with $130? So when you're offering the um, 31 um, opportunity, you're giving a gift. And I want you to really look at it like that. You're giving something to someone that they didn't know was possible. A lot of people will never look at the back of the catalog and they don't realize that that $99 kit could be something for them. So make sure you're sharing that with them. And another really important thing is really making sure that they understand that we have this, this amazing part of our company called 31 Gives. Because the um, the, the sisterhood, the supporting of women around America, all of this is an important part of who we are as a 31 consultant. And a lot of times this right here alone will make them really uh, encouraged to find out more about the business opportunity. Um, I love the statistics and sharing what 31 is doing. One in four women will experience domestic violence. Seven in 10 girls believe they're not good enough. 62% of girls um, are insecure about themselves. I love looking at these statistics and why 31 Gives was started. If you're sharing this at your party, you're going to be bringing people into the mission of 31. And that also is a huge part of, um, of recruiting. All of these things work together. And I just want to go back to that list really quickly to make sure that you understand these just these components of recruiting. So share, ladies, if you're sharing your business and not hard selling, you don't want to continually just sell and show specials and everything on your Facebook page because people will start to hide you. It can't be always about the bag. Um, but if you're sharing your excitement, if you're sharing the friendships, 
the lunches, whatever it is that you're doing. When you're out doing a vendor event and you meet a friend, you know, snap a photo and, and post something about your 31, hashtag 31Y, all of those things. Celebrate, celebrate milestones. If you save enough to pay off a bill, if you save enough to go on vacation, if you save enough to pay for Christmas, share that fact of your journey with 31 being a part of that. Flipping those hostesses, having a goal of flipping one a month, one every other month, one every three months, one per catalog, whatever your goal is, set the goal, write it down and reach for that goal. You have to speak to sponsor. If you don't ask, probably 95% of the women won't ask. So you're going to have to ask for them. When you're checking out at your parties, did you have a good time? Have you ever thought about joining my team? I'd love to have you. I'd love to have someone like you on my team. Giving them that permission and giving them the opportunity to say no. Somebody said the other day, don't answer no for them. That's not our, that's not our job, whether it's you know somebody at church or something you're doing at your own job or just asking someone to come over for a play date. When we assume the no for them, that's just unfair. So the same thing with 31 gifts. Don't assume that they don't want to be a part of your team. Sometimes it's just they haven't given themselves permission to dream a little bit. Um, and again, working for those home office leads as senior consultants or above, asking those questions that are going to allow you to get to know her needs a little more, what it is she might need. It may not be a financial need. So if you're just talking about money, that may not speak to her. She might have a husband who's very wealthy and not have that sort of need, but she might be lonely. She might need the sisterhood. I just sent a letter today to someone and it had nothing to do about money. I specifically talked about the sisterhood of 31 and having that time with us as friends. And I, I know that's a void that she's looking for in her life. And then again, number seven, being patient. I've waited six months to a year before for someone to join my team because I knew it was the right time for them. So start those conversations now so it's something that you can look toward in the future. If you have any questions about recruiting, I want you to ask me. Don't be afraid to reach out. And then if you want to recruit and you're a little afraid, bring them in and then I will be there to help you with all of the start swells and the trainings and all of those things that 31 is providing. So I'm excited. And I hope that many of you are going to be looking um, to, you know, here in the future, growing your own team. And again, if I can do anything to help you, please don't hesitate to reach out. I want you, here's my challenge, to write down the, the names of two to four women that you would really like to offer the opportunity to. If they're local, let them know you have a question from, from 31. You know, don't try to hide it. But take them out to lunch. Say, I'd like to take you to lunch or take you then to coffee and just sit down and share why you love 31 and then invite them to join the journey. If there's someone who's not local, send them some information in the mail, maybe a little gift like a key fob or something like that. And then just say, hey, when you have the time, I'd love to chat with you on the phone and then talk to them more. They may say no at first, but sometimes if you can just, again, ask some of those open-ended questions about what their true need is, it may not be the same thing you're, you're joining 31 for, but, you know, I'm, so I just want to challenge you, two to four friends, just put it out there. Um, I think that you can do it. So again, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm excited to see some of you who have really had um, a dream to start growing your team. Go out and recruit, especially right now, right before Christmas. They have plenty of time to get recruited get parties in, and have money for Christmas. All right, well, hopefully that helps you tonight, and I hope you're doing well. And again, post your comments below if you have any, and I look forward to celebrating you when you have your first, second, third, fourth recruit, and uh, we are here to help all of you. Have a great night.